Hello user, this video demonstrates you how port locker works. When you have port locker installed on your system, you have this desktop icon. Double click on the icon to launch the application. Here enter your key number or if you are using trial pack, set run as trial pack. Enter the password. This is the home screen of the software. PortLocker is a data leakage prevention software. Reporting configuration are two major modules in the software. Configuration allows you to configure your PortLocker software. We have different types of reports here. We'll see later. First, start with configuration. As this software increases the level of data security by blocking external device ports we have this facility to block permanently or schedule block the ports various ports are listed here i have taken an example of usb port port is blocked for usb let's check if usb drive allows me to read pen drive Double click on removable media. Please insert a disk. Port is blocked. Let's unblock it. Click on apply. Let's check if the USB port is unblocked. Check again. Try to read the data from pen drive. Yes, now data is visible. You can read the information. Port is unblocked. Same way you can set port to permanently or schedule block for any port. Schedule block allows you to block a port for a particular time period or when the system is idle. Select the time, select duration, from to for this particular duration the port will be blocked let's check if the port is blocked for this particular time period yes the port is blocked so you can block port permanently or for a particular time period unblocked now the information is available to read port settings can be applied for all ports or for different ports available device permissions allows you to whitelist a USB click on enumerate this will show you whatever the USB devices are available for this computer I've enter some name for USB name click on add this is added here so now this particular device will not be blocked to other features USB read only and block print screen USB read only if you check this option will not allow anything to be written on the USB drive try to write something on the pen drive which I have selected here. I am sending this text document to the drive. Not allowed because this is write protected. This is because I have checked this option USB read only. Uncheck this option, click on apply, try again. The document is sent to the removable media. Let's check if it is copy it there yes it's here so two options block print screen and USB read only file transfer log allows you to maintain a log of files transferred to and from the USB drive 
This settings can be applied for all extensions or selected extensions. First, you have to check enable USB file transfer log option. Then only the log will be maintained by bootlocker. I have added these two extensions. So log will be maintained whenever the user tries to transfer PDF or text files. Same way, email filtering log can be maintained by the port locker. Here at two different level, first enable email filtering and then enable attachment or enable body. Enable attachment means you can enter certain extensions which will be blocked by port locker whenever the mails having these extensions as attachment will be sent. At bod enable body text, you can enter any keyword that will be blocked by port locker while sending an email if these particular words are present in email body. Click on apply. To get reports, you have to enter details for notification. How you want these reports to be sent? Incremental report or complete report? And the duration when you want these reports, how frequent you want these reports to be sent? Or send report every one day, week or month. You can get reports by either email or FTP. Enter all the details in email. Enter sender address, password, SMTP server, and recipient address, and the port number. Click on test mail. This will send a test mail to the recipient address. Okay, let's check if this particular user has got this test mail or not. As this is sent instantly, yes. This is the test mail that means there is no problem in communicating with the user using this SMTP server. Likewise you can enter the details for FTP too and check the option for you want all reports to be sent or particular reports like email filtering, file transfer or activity. In general settings you have these four options. Log size uh, allows you to set log size. This 1 MB is the log size limit and delete log after these many days. So port locker will delete the logs automatically after 30 days. Click on apply. For password settings, you can enable or disable password for the software. If you disable it, the port locker will not ask for any password to launch itself. Let's check if Portlocker allows user to launch the application without asking password. Yes, this is launched. You can enable it and as I have received, I was enter new password, confirm password, click on apply. So password is set. Let's check it if the password is checked. Password is required to launch the application. As I'm using trial version of the software, so this screen is coming run as trial every time. But in case you, you are using license version, then this screen will not come. Let's check how email filtering works. Try to send some mail and have and attach some file which I have blocked. Like I have set text file as extension. This mail is blocked by bootlocker because TXT extension is added there. So email is filtered. This will generate an alert by the bootlocker. We'll see in alerts in bootlocker software. Try to send this mail, but check for the body text keyword. I have added resume for filtering email. So this is blocked. 
here no problem at all because attachment is also not there and the text also doesn't contain any word which is blocked. Let's try to transfer some file from the USB drive. I'm trying to create a file. This test.txt I'm sending to pen drive, removable media, USB drive for which I have set this particular extension. So this will generate an alert. And we will be able to see the alerts in reports heading. Add or remove some files from and to uh, USB drive so that reports will be generated. This is just for the sake of demonstrating, but Code logger software will generate reports for all the set extensions. You can see here the action port report, alert, schedule block, block, whatever you have done, whatever has generated an alert is listed here. Once you have seen the alerts, these will be transferred to port reports and alert will, window will be clear. Under file transfer log, you can see all the files added onto the USB drive, rename, add, all the actions, all the trans uh, log for all the files transferred from and to the USB drive will be listed here. You can see the result as HTML format. This is the report in HTML format of files transferred to and from. This is the report for email filtering. You can see, first I tried to send an email having an attachment, which is a test document, and other was having a keyword resume, which was blocked. So these two alerts were generated, and hence you can see it in blog. And these will be sent as attachment and when the reports will be sent to the user at the registered email. Activity log maintains all the log of all the activities which are performed on port locker software. This includes changes in settings, locking, unlocking the ports, setting schedule scan, everything. Notification settings, whatever user has done will be listed in activity log, including all the settings. Manage settings are for saving or loading already existing settings. For example, if I have blocked certain ports, I have entered some file transfer uh, configurations, email filtering, and all these uh, settings. And later on, I want to use all those settings to be applied in the port local software. So settings can be saved. For example, I have uh, added certain settings, configured the port locker and saved this file. Now later on when I want to apply these settings, then I can simply click on load, manage settings and click on load. Let's see this is the default port setting and now let's try to load the settings from the saved file. Open the software and because this will open in a default version. No port is blocked by default. Go to many settings, load Select the file which you have saved. Load save file is for setting. Now we can see that the port is scheduled block. 
all the extensions you added in that particular setting email filtering settings log size number of days password enable or disable all the settings which were saved earlier in that .sav file will be loaded and now portlocker works according to the settings applied here in activity log you see all the actions performed on portlocker the same options which are given in toolbar are also given as menus file and configuration menus give you reports and configuration settings options clicking on help will give you a help how this software works a detailed help click on about us to know about our website and contact addresses support click on exit to exit from the application so this is the whole interface of portlocker let's check if the user is notified for reports yes you can see three all three reports are sent to the user at the registered email activity log file transfer log and email filter log in html format all the actions files transferred or email filter log so you can see that this software is quite useful for securing the data hope you know how portlocker software works for any query you can write to us or call us